Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Blaze Collie, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to uh, perform using just the head on your fursuit. Um, so today joining me is Blaze the Collie. That's my first fursuit. I got him about five years ago. I've performed him at a couple different conventions and around the area of Washington State locally. And the other one that's going to be joining me is Bitcat. My newest um, and more professionally built um, uh, fursuit head. All right. So a couple things I want to talk to you guys about is the placement of your head. Now that, you know, which angles are you going to use? Up, down, left, and right. Um, uh, complex angles like down and to a, to a direction. Um, or um, you know, the other ones, in, leaning in, leaning out, and how all of these combined give different um, attitudes to your character. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to put Blaze the Collie on. I'll quick groom him up really quickly. And, uh, yeah. Alright. So hopefully you all can hear me okay. So the first things first is um, angles. So looking up, looking down, and how they give different attitudes. So looking up um, versus looking down, uh, depending on where your eyesight is, is a really important one. Looking up uh, can be extreme or subtle depending on where your head pivots. Um, so I prefer, uh, instead of looking up, to look down, unless I'm looking clueless. Looking up and twirling around is a great way to look like you're clueless or like lost in the sky. Uh, the other one is um, looking down. Now looking down is a great one. It gives a lot of different um, subtle uh, attitudes that people can pull from it depending on how your suit is built. This particular one, because of the eyelids and its deep eye sockets, I can get a lot of different emotions out of it. I can come in and be like, hey, what's up? Coming in slowly gives, gives like a couple senses. You can be more of a romantic or you can be more of a mischievous. Tilting your head off to the side, angling it up and coming in, it's like, hey, what do you got there? You got something for me? Yeah, you, you got something for me, don't you? And, um, you know, um, so, you know, using your head in different ways. Now, the other one is moving your head up and coming in is like, hey, hey. And if you bounce on in and like tippy toe up close and slow, um, you can get a sense of mischievousness. If you come down and come in, it's like, I see you got something there for me, or hey there, baby. Like, you get different attitudes with your body language. Your whole body gets into play, but the face is what a lot of people see and interact with. So, uh, I hope that gives you a good idea about angles. Moving in, moving back. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is where is everything located on your suit? So, you have your mouth, your ears, your eyes, and your nose. And using angles along with um, things that are on your suit head. This is one of the most complicated parts of the suit. You have a lot of work with here if you know what you're working with. So scared, if you're scared, you can go like this, power and like turn away. If you are, something's too loud, you can go like this. Or if you are stressed and you like wanna scream or something, you're like, ah, you can do that too. Um, different things. You know, your, where things are located on your head, inside the suit head, are very different. So my ears are here, whereas the suit, they're here. My nose is located about about here, way in here, whereas it's up here. And uh, my mouth is down here where, um, but realistically my mouth is along the roof line of the suit. So, uh, you know, get to know your suit head. Know where everything's located. So when you act things out, like the snicker, you know that where, where to place your hands for the um, laughing. And you know that if you want to uh, like floof your hair and make it look pretty, um, uh, you can you know use your ears to do that if they're floppy ears, or if they're like flying ears, you can know where to hold them on, just like on Bitcat. So 
that kind of gives you an idea about placement of angles. Big hat. Back way up here so you guys can see the difference. Is a much, much, it's subtly, but a much larger head. Um, and the ears are more pointy and the nose is much larger and the mouth is much lower and when you wear the head suit, the head on Bitcat, his head angles down a little bit. So I have to, when I switch between the suits, I have to readjust for every one of them. I can't just go over here and expect my ears to be there or my nose to be in the same spot, especially the mouth. So Bitcat has a moving jaw. And um, his ears are way up here, his eyes are here, his uh, mouth is down here, and his nose is here. And I always like to do this check whenever I get into suit and uh, like brush up the sides, know where everything is located. And uh, you know, angles are, again, I said a really big important one. Um, Bit Cat doesn't have the same kind of angles as Blaze Cully does. So when I come in, um, it's more of a you know, uh, mischievous than it is, uh, you know, a s romantic or like, come here, um, like, so when uh, I'm playing Bitcat, uh, he's more energetic, bouncy, and floofy, and he tends to throw off the cute vibes. You tilt your head back and look up, it gives a very different feel than when you tilt your head back and look up on Blaze Collie. It's like, what you doing? So, um, you know, that's good, a good example. So again, my ears are way up here, so if something's too loud, or I'm trying to listen in on someone, on um, Blaze Collie, I'd be right here, right about here or so. But with Big Cat, I can't go there, that's his cheek. So I have to go way up here and lean down. Um, and uh, this kind of ties into what my next video is gonna be about, which is about how to use your hands because you have um, one of the most complicated props that you can have built into your suit, and that's your head. You have ears, again, your nose, you have like your hair. If your suit has hair, you can mess it up and like play with it. I have teeth on here, um, and uh, you know, I can open my jaw, stick things into it. There's lots of things you can do with your head. Um, and I really encourage people to really get an idea about what it looks like, because there's nothing s in my personal opinion, there's nothing worse than seeing a suit that kind of walks around and they don't really know what they're doing. They just think they're in a suit. They, they, they're, just, they're in a suit and they're walking around and they don't have any personality and they think that they're looking cool, but they're really not because they're not really performing. They're just another person just happens to be walking in a suit of fur uh, versus a character. And if you want to get in character, you have to really know your character uh, and where everything's placed. And, uh, you know, um, I hope this video has been uh, informative. I plan on making uh, more of them using my suits. Um, my suits are very expensive. Uh, like I said, Big Cat, the Big Cat suit cost me $3,000. And uh, um, I have been going a lot to a lot of conventions to get my use out of them. But at the same time, I'd like to do more around the house and at home without actually um, leaving. And I found that making YouTube videos is probably going to be a great way to do this. So um, please let me know if there's any particular fursuiting thing you'd like to know more about. Um, the basics I'm covering in this video is just the head. Next video I plan on doing is hands. And um, um, I'm not huge, uh, not a constructor or a builder. Um, I don't make props. Uh, I don't really own a lot of props either, but um, I mean I can go over details of specifics like hand paws, how to suit up by yourself alone with the front zipper and the back zipper, um, how to get out of a suit if you only have a back zipper and nobody else. That's a really big one because they get really hot, so maybe I might do a video on that. But I hope you guys found this um, uh, convenient uh, or in, in informative or helpful. If you do, leave me a message in the comments below, and if you don't, then um, we'll also leave comments in the section below. Uh, and um, 
If you have anything that you want me to touch on that I may be able to answer questions on, uh, again, let me know in the comments below. If you really felt this was helpful, please subscribe. It really helps. Uh, let me know that I'm doing a good job. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks.